may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. We're getting close to the 18th, people. Now, I don't know why God was trying to show me about the 18th, but we need to be paying attention tomorrow. Not only that, he gave me another date. So, the next one, he's done something that he normally doesn't do with me. But I got it very quickly. It was 426. So, we need to be watching tomorrow and 4. 26. Do I know what's going to happen on these times? No, I don't. But we need to be watching. Because they're very critical to where we need to be and what's coming. So we need to be paying attention. Like I said, and normally, like I said, if I don't get confirmation on them, I don't tell them to you. And I've got confirmation on both. So, we need to be paying attention to those two dates. Tomorrow and 4-26. Very clearly, I got the 426, and it was through a dream that I got it, but uh, didn't come to me until I, I got a confirmation of it, and then I then I put it together. It was 426. The dream was all over the place, but it got me to remember the number, and that's usually the way God works with me. Little did I know that Shelly was praying for different things, and it showed up in my dream. So, we need to pay attention now. Shelly's also asked me if <clears throat> tonight if I can pray, so you all can pray for this also, that whatever's going to happen, that I can see what's going to happen on these dates through my dreams. So, that's something you all can pray for and get confirmation of it. I always tell you to go to God for everything that we hear. So, there's a lot of news, people. There's a lot of news. It goes on and on. We definitely know we're in the last days. So as U.S. could be drawn into an Israel-Iran conflict, and I do believe they probably will be. Since should Iran manage to significantly escalate attacks on Israel, the U.S. could be drawn into conflict, said Joe Biden on the Wall Street Journal. Biden went on Israel as our strongest partner in the Middle East, but in other words, he's going to have literally no choice to get in this once it all happens. Worse, it just uh, passed Sunday, Russian minister Sergey said that uh, he has sent the U.S. Department of Defense making clear that if Israel attacks Iran, Russia will come to the aid of Iran. Now, three days later, U.S. President is saying the U.S. will come to the aid of Israel. So you see where this is going. Remember, I told you, Middle East leads to this war between NATO and Russia. There's no getting around it. It's going to happen. And I think that's why God is warning us about the days ahead. He usually don't do that. Now, that's just something he doesn't do. I've worked for him for a long time. He's never done this. He's never given me direct dates either. Not like this and not this close together. Not where we're at. Usually it's a further date down the road. But these are these dates are very close to where we're at now. So that's why we got to pay attention to what they might be. But they're going to play a role. And I do believe the rapture of the church. I just don't know what they are yet. It might not be meant for us to know. But he's at least given us a time period to be looking. Okay, let's see here. Now, this happened late last night, and uh, Lisa touched on this, but it's very important that we go over this. Now, what this incident happened in, I think, South Dakota. It says, video, you know, United States loading nuclear bombs into B-52s. That is a misleading conversation. That's not what they was doing. They're loading dummies on there. But what they're doing, they're putting these dummies in these canisters and loading them to the B-52s and shooting them out to basically tell the world we can shoot the nukes from the B-52s. Since three days ago, the Air Force Base practiced loading nuclear bombs onto B-52s. That's not true. 
they was practicing loading dummy nuclear bombs. See, that is a lying uh, story right there. If you don't know, but see, I got that news before he revealed it, and this was not correct. It says, last night they did it for real, and that's not true either. They was loading dummies on there to show everybody that they could be launched from the B-52s. The video shows practice loading, which took place around three days ago. The video shows taken last night shows actual loading of the nuclear cruise missiles pre-mounted on the wing pods of B-52s. Now, why did they do that? They know that Russia has satellites and Chinese does too. That's why they, when they go over there, they wanted to see that they was loading. It's because of Russia's threat a couple of days ago that they would take Iran's side. And we was letting them know we can shoot these things out of these B-52s. And that, that's in South Dakota. But that is also very true that this is a provocation of what's to come. That's why God is, I've told you right now, to grab on Jesus' leg and not let go. While everybody else is asleep and don't think that anything from this eclipse meant anything, they're, they've went on about their lives. They're done. But I'm here to tell you, this is not done. This is only the beginning. We told you, judgment will start to come out. And that's what's coming. Jesus is coming to judge the nations. Now, in the last 24 hours, there's been some major solar flares. The last couple hours, a major earthquake hit Japan again. And they're already telling you to be out to look out tomorrow. Now, that tomorrow is when these big waves are supposed to hit us here from the solar eclipse. Not solar eclipse, but the sun flares that are coming in. So they're coming in tomorrow. So I need you. To, and it's not coincidence that God gave us the 18th. So we really be paying attention tomorrow. Especially if you're on the West Coast, stuff like that. Now, there's still earthquakes going on in New Jersey. The United States is shaking big time. This is not coincidence either. Well, I said, keep your eyes open and your ears open. I need your all's help. Because if he's given us these days, we need to be watching to see what we're supposed to see. So we've got this. And it says here, Iran and its proxy forces in the Middle East are preparing for an Israel attack, even as Israel allies and Western nations continue trying to convince it not to retaliate against Iran's regime. After the regime announced it was preparing its air force for an attack, and the Navy would start escorting its commercial ships in the Red Sea. The U.S. Atomic Agency Chief Rafael Grossi said Monday that Iran's nuclear facilities are closed over the weekend. The Wall Street Journal reported Wednesday that Iran was also evacuating some of its operatives in Syria. Iran's Revolutionary Guard has built up significant presence across the Syria and Lebanon in recent years to prop up the Syrian Assad regime as well as the facility weapons deliveries and the main proxy Hezbollah. According to the report, the IRGC has gone on high alert and it enacted emergency protocols for its facilities in Syria that are including leaving only a few shoulder, uh, soldiers present during the night when they estimate as Israel's attack is coming. And it could be tomorrow. That might be why God showed me that, or it could be the red heifers. One of these things happen. Now, we know now that God has showed us the red heifers have not been sacrificed. So, once again, I'm going to go back to this. That doesn't mean the rapture of the church, but it does mean things are going to go to hell in a handbasket real quick once they're sacrificed. Because one thing, that sets up the third temple. Once they do that, it does mean that we're on limited time. We already are. But I think that time's going to get more limited. You're going to see events around the earth, these solar flares, earthquakes, and everything's going to be magnitude 100 times worse than what we're accustomed to. Many's not going to believe that, but they'll see it with their own eyes pretty shortly. Even they will not even know what's happening. They're going to be confused. But you that are awake, you're going to see these events start to come out and know that we're in the last days. Clearly, you'll know it. Because the events will be like nothing we've ever seen. Says so Hezbollah already has went on high alert over the weekend no, uh, for fear of Israel retaliate immediately by targeting the terror group. Syrian officials said that Hezbollah intensified its intel collection efforts on the Syrian-Israel border to prepare for an eventual attack. However, a source told WSJ that Lebanese terror groups now thought that Israel probably won't attack and has lowered its defenses again, while European officials on Wednesday reiterated that the opposition to an Israel retaliation 
for Sunday's attack, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu Bibi asserted that Israel will make its own decisions and the state of Israel will do everything necessary in order to defend itself. And I think that's why God's given us these, these dates. Because he's let it say, listen, be watching, be listening. Your time is limited. These horrible events are coming. And you have to be aware of them. So we see, we know how limited time we have. It says here, IDF tanks pushed back into Gaza. That happened in the last 24 hours too. Israel prepares for the Rafa operation. And if it's just me, I believe this is, this is a diversion. This is going to make Iran and them think, okay, they're not going to do anything. That's why God's given us these dates to pay attention to here. So we're not caught off guard. That We know that this is part of that brings the rapture of the church here. Okay. That's why it's very important that we pay attention. That's why God's telling me these dates. We have to pay attention to them. Israel's tanks reiterated previously vacated positions on the northern Gaza Strip on Tuesday. According to the reports of Gaza residents, Palestinian media also reported that the tanks entered the neighborhoods of Barrett Harmon and Jebelea in northern Gaza. The IDF operations comes uh, following a recent call-up of two military reserve brigades to prepare for re-entry into Gaza. One Gaza resident told Reuters that Israel soldiers ordered all families inside the schools and nearby houses uh, where their tanks had to advance to evacuate that area. The IDF announced on Saturday that it was conducting a precise operation in Barrett, uh, Harnan, but also did not provide regular updates regarding the situation there. According to the Palestinian affili affiliated WAFA news site, the Israel Air Forces targeted the Ma Al Qasim Mosque west of the Jebeli refusal refugee camp in the northern Gaza Strip, causing several casualties. Following the IDF withdrawal from this area, they have also had several reports of evacuees attempting to return to the northern Gaza Strip despite Israel's introduction, uh, restructuring, uh, restructuring residents to remain, or instructing, I'm sorry, instructing residents to remain in the south. I need to start wearing my glasses. Israel affirmed that the area remains subject to uh, sporadic combat and could not assure the safety of residents. The IDF announced on Wednesday morning that the forces are continuing operations against Hamas terrorists in uh, and, and fracture in the central Gaza Strip. According to the statements, IEF planes conducted air strikes against terrorist and terror infrastructure, hitting more than 40 targets over the past day, including underground launching posts, booby trapped booby trap structures, military structures were armed terrorist operated observation post, underground terrorist infrastructure, so on. WAFA reported heavy artillery and missile shelling at this camp, which is claimed over six cons has seen six consecutive days of military activity. Residents of, man, these names. I need my new body just so I can name these names. The Surat and the IAF bombed, destroyed a, a multi-story residential building and strikes on the Tuesday. The IAF planes also targeted several sites in Rafa, reportedly killing and wounding several people. Palestinian health officials claimed that four people were killed and several other wounded in the strikes in Rafa. According to the reports, the IDF is preparing to enter Rafa soon, the last of Hamas stronghold. And like I said, this could be why God is showing all the, these dates. Because they definitely, these are dates that things that are important to us are going to happen. Let's see what else we got here. Now this is now we're going to go into what I was talking about earlier with what's happening with Russia and Ukraine. And yes, they are all connected. It says major Ukraine attack last night with MGM attackums, 148, 140 attackums on Russian base in Crimea. The S-400 and S-300 raids was destroyed. Loud explosions. It says Ukraine uh, forces launched a complete, a complex missile attack against Russia on their air base in Crimea, destroying, according to Kyiv, three S-400 artillery units and one S-400, two S-300 artillery units and an anti-aircraft missile depot. Russia confirmed Ukraine's attack with and some casualties there at the Air Force Base. According to Moscow, initial evidence indicates that the Ukraine attacked 
with multiple MGM-140 attack and ballistic missiles. It is impossible that Ukraine aircraft also it is possible that Ukraine's aircraft also participated in the attack, which launched Storm Shadow and Scout cruise missiles. What the Russians say the attack was carried out uh, under the supervision of American drone RQ-4B. Once again, putting us in the, the crosshairs. Zai, <clears throat> Rybar claims that Ukraine hit the, the air base with 12 attack of missiles probably fired from Kherson. Seven rockets were launched in the first and five in the second. Regarding the rocket attack, last night the Ukraine forces launched this attack. About 12 attack of missiles were used in the strike, most likely launched from the Kherson area. The first were involved seven missiles apparently equipped with cluster warheads, while the second one deployed at least five. It says some equipment at the airport was damaged along with one of the buildings. The attack could be carried out both with MGM 140A missiles with a range of about 165 kilometers. If the launch is from the outskirts of Kherson, there Ukraine can easily reach this area, even the initial uh, versions of the attackums. As in previous strikes, the US Q 4B drone was patrolling the airspace south of Crimea, monitoring the operation. Meanwhile, Ukraine forces are actively preparing for a large scale offensive. In the peninsula. A few days ago, there was an unsuccessful attempt to target the checkpoint at Barask, following by today's attack at the airport. The goal is clear disrupting the coordination of US, Russian units by neutralizing command posts and causing significant damage to air, force, uh, air defense forces. Achieving these dual objectives, especially with the already weakened fleet, it's crucial for Ukraine Air Forces before targeting the Crimea Bridge. So we're going back to that bridge again. Vehicular traffic was stopped on the night of April 17. Traffic was stopped on sections of that bridge. Vehicles trapped uh, traffic is temporarily restricted on that section of the Kherson Bridge. It says the Crimea Air Force Base of the Russian 27th Mixed Aviation Division as well as the 39th Helicopter Regiment is projected protected by the S-300, S-400 air, defense, uh, air defense system. On March the 9th, 2024, a satellite image showed that there was 10 uh, XMI-28 2A KA 52s. What do they come up with these names? 4X SU-25s at that airfield, as well as the S-400. At the same time today, Russian Ministry of Defense announced that the air defense is forced from the Russian Armed Forces repelled a new attack by the Ukraine drones on the territory of Mordova, there in Tar Tartaristan. The goal was, and it continues, and it continues. Oh, I guess that was it. Then it kind of left off and didn't finish it. Let's see. It's got a bunch of pictures here. I didn't finish it. That's kind of weird. So, saying pretty much what we've all been talking about for weeks. If God has warned us about dates, it's not just because of what's happening with Israel. I do believe the things that we've been talking about with judgment and stuff like that is going to escalate beyond stuff that we're are prepared to deal with at this moment. So he don't want us caught off guard and we don't need to be surprised. So he's letting us know that so we can tell people that judgment's coming. And I think that's why he's given us this. These dates to watch for. Well, we'll find out tomorrow what the 18th is and why it was so important. Now, like I said, keep your eyes open. Any stories, always, you know, if you, you got message me on Facebook or anything, anything like that or anything, anything you hear, let me know. But just definitely keep your eyes open and your ears open tomorrow. And then we've got the 426. So that's another date that he's telling us that these events are coming. And I think the reason he's doing that, so we know he's in control. So we can calm down. Do not be afraid. Do not be fearful. He's got this. He knows what's going to happen before they happen. That's why he's giving us this stuff. But he's letting us know the rapture of the church is very soon. So I know you're getting aggravated. You're tired. You don't want to be here anymore. I know. I'm just like you. I don't want to be here. 
But just calm down. We're almost there. Hold on to Jesus with everything you have. That's what you need to do. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Past, present, and future. He died and was buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. If you're lost, call upon Jesus right now. He'll come. Don't matter what you've done. Just believe in what he did. He died for you and he died for me. On that cross, he shed his blood. That is our only way in. It's not works. It's not anything like that. It's all through him. He did it all. Once you accept that, the Holy Spirit comes in you and dwells in you and you get clean on the inside. The outside always stays dirty. It's never going to be cleaned. It's always going to fail and mess up. But you're sealed until the day of redemption. And you get to go home. Which is not going to be long from now. That's why he's working with us through many confirmations. He's, he's dealing with us because he's with us. Understand this. That's why he's giving us this stuff so we can look for it. So we can feel at ease that he is in control. There's a lot of people out there right now, from what the Holy Spirit's telling me, they're afraid they're going to see a lot of this stuff. But I'm here to tell you, God has got this. Have faith. He comes in the storm. We know the storm's coming. And we will be rescued. Don't worry. Jesus has got this. So just hold on to his leg and don't let go right now. Right now, while other people are asleep around the world, this is the most more important time in human history. You're in it and I'm in it. Now, a lot of people is going to say, well, you know, everything's great. Nothing's happening, but that's not the truth. There's a lot happening. That's why God's telling us these things that we're coming to an end. He's not just telling me. He's telling everybody. Anyone that can listen, he's telling everybody he's coming. That are awake. And he is. He's on his way. So trust in Jesus today. Like I said, no fear. He's with us. He's ten steps ahead of Satan. We're almost out of here. Just literally hold on just a little bit more. Hold on to Jesus' leg and don't let go. Because it's about to get really interesting. Mark it down. It's about to get crazy out there. But Jesus has this. And there's nothing to fear. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube. Letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep. Those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.